What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick review of Android P Developer Preview 5. This is the official public beta number 4. The preview started just before the beta program did. The beta program started at Google I.O. 2018. So there really aren't that many visual changes to this version. It was only about a 52 megabyte update here uh, for my Pixel 2 XL. Uh, as you can see, I am running the beta program right there with the build number right there in the quick settings of Android P. But there are a couple of visual changes. I just want to point those visual changes out. And then I'll talk a little bit about stability and battery life. Google says this is supposed to be a release candidate. So we're probably going to see the stable version of Android P sometime next month, mid to late August. So the first visual change is you'll notice here down in the search bar, when you swipe up as well, there's no longer an assistant shortcut, so you don't see the microphone here anymore. That has been removed in this version, the beta number four, developer preview five. Again, not a huge thing that you would notice, and I don't really know why Google decided to remove that, uh, but it is something that is no longer there. The second visual change is if you swipe down in the quick settings, you'll notice the auto rotate icon right there has changed a little bit visually, just the way the icon looks. Again, not something you're really gonna notice on a daily basis at all, but it is a change that they made that's visual. Now, another thing I noticed, which I'm not sure if this is actually new, or maybe I just didn't notice it in the previous developer preview. I know that they started displaying weather uh, on your lock screen with the um, Google sort of notifications, just like you have on the home screen with the Pixel. But now I've started to get calendar events on my lock screen as well. I took the screenshot earlier. You can see I have a Best Buy notification down there. And then this was my upcoming event, complete with the location, the weather as well, and also the time to the event. So that could actually be something that was there from the previous developer preview along with the weather. If it was, let me know, but that's just something I noticed today for the very first time. So let's talk a little bit about performance and battery life. Uh, is this a release candidate? Is it something you should jump into? Uh, personally, I haven't noticed any bugs at all on this version. Developer Preview 5 Beta 4 seems to be very stable. Of course, we haven't really added anything new in terms of uh, the gesture-based navigation. It's still pretty much the same as it was when it launched, uh, and then they made a few improvements on the next dev preview, but it's much smoother. It's much easier to navigate through. If you just wanna swipe through the apps here at the bottom now, it's super quick and very fast to do that. There was a lot of lag when that first came out at Google I.O., so it's definitely good uh, from that perspective. I'd still like to see them modify the way the overall navigation works, uh, maybe have a little slide to go back but that doesn't like it's gonna get changed before the stable version. So if you're interested in stability, I mean, all the apps work, banking apps, Google Pay, Android Auto, Android Wear, I've been using all that kind of stuff and all of them work without issue. I'm sorry, Android Wear, Wear OS, of course, now is the new name. Uh, battery life, I mean, I've only had maybe two cycles, so it's hard to say you know, for sure exactly where battery life is at, but it's been pretty good for me. Five hour screen on time around there for my first two charge cycles. That's about what I was getting back when I was using Oreo. So I'd say it really hasn't degraded very much. So if you're concerned about battery life at all, I don't think that's really a concern either. So overall, I would say that Google is uh, pretty accurate in saying that this is a release candidate version of Android P. There is no new Easter egg. I know a lot of people out there are probably wondering about that. No new Easter egg in this version at all. I did check that as well. And I couldn't really spot any other major changes. So it definitely looks like we're on uh, pace for a stable release next month, probably around uh, near the end of August. That's what happened last year. We're also gonna find out the name of Android P then. So if you guys wanna toss your guesses for the name of Android P, uh, personally, I'd like to see something with pie, pecan pie, pumpkin pie. That would be my preference. But I know there's a lot of good ones uh, as compared to last year with O. There was really only the obvious choice of Oreo but a lot of good uh, dessert and sweet names that start with P. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Very short video review of Android P Developer Preview 5 Beta 4. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Also find me writing at gadgethacks.com. I write about Android. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.